Hello kids! Welcome to another day of our online class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Week 9, Quarter 2. Our lesson for today is about solving word problems involving multiplication. Kids, are you ready to listen? Let's start! Most Essential Learning Competencies Solves routine and non-routine problems using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Letter A. Multiplication of whole numbers including money. Letter B. Multiplication and addition or subtraction of whole numbers including money. For our activity today, we're going to solve the following word problems. Are you ready kids? Let's get started! Problem solving number 1 Lito bought 6 pencils at 5 pesos each. How much change did he get from a 50 peso bill? Again, Lito bought 6 pencils. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 we can add 6 groups of 5 pesos. The price of each pencil is 5 pesos. Let's add 6 5 pesos. 5 pesos plus 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 5 pesos equals do you know what is the answer? You can skip counting by 5 to get the answer. Correct! The answer is 30 pesos. We can also multiply. 5 pesos times 6 equals 30 pesos. Or, we can multiply in vertical forms. 5 pesos times 6 equals first we're going to multiply the digit in the ones place to 6 0 times 6 equals 0 and then next multiply the digit in the tens place to 6 0 times 6 equals 0 and then next multiply the digit in the hundreds place to 6 5 times 6 equals 30. Then, let's put the decimal point after 2 digits. Let's count 2 digits from right to left. So, 5 pesos times 6 equals 30 pesos. Let's read again the problem solving. Lito bought 6 pencils at 5 pesos each. The question is, how much change did he get from a 50 peso bill? First, we're going to subtract the 50 peso bill to the total price of 6 pencils, which is 30 pesos. 50 pesos minus 30 pesos equals... Automatically, when you subtract two zeros, the answer is 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. Tens place, 0 minus 0 equals 0. And then the hundreds place... 0 minus 0 equals 0. Then, digit in the thousands place. 5 minus 3 equals 2. And then, put a decimal point after two zeros from right to left. So, therefore, the answer is 20 pesos. Therefore, Lito got 20 pesos change. Problem solving number 2. Lucy bought 5 notebooks at 9 pesos each. The cashier gave her a change of 5 pesos. How much did Lucy give the cashier? So again, Lucy bought 5 notebooks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can add 5 groups of 9 pesos. The price of each notebook is 9 pesos. Let's add. 9 pesos plus 9 pesos plus 9 pesos 
plus 9 pesos plus 9 pesos equals Kids, what is the answer? Correct! The answer is 45 pesos. We add 5 9 pesos. We can also multiply. 9 pesos times 5 equals 45. Or we can multiply in vertical forms. 9 pesos times 5 equals so first we're going to multiply the 5 to the first digit which is in the ones place and then next to the tens place and then next to the hundreds place so 0 times 5 equals 0 next 0 times 5 equals 0 and then next 9 times 5 equals 45 then let's put the decimal point after two digits from right to left. Let's read again the problem solving. Lucy bought five notebooks at 9 pesos each. The cashier gave her a change of 5 pesos. So the question is, the cashier gave her a change of 5 pesos. How much did Lucy give the cashier? Now, to get the answer, we will add 45 pesos worth of notebooks to 5 pesos change. 45 pesos plus 5 pesos equals, automatically when we add two zeros, the answer is 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. Then let's add 5 plus 5 equals 10. Carry up 1. 1 plus 4 equals 5. Then put a decimal point after two digits from right to left. So therefore, Lucy gave 50 pesos to the cashier. Problem solving number 3. Mother gave each of her children 10 pesos. If she had 30 pesos left, how much money did mother have at first? So again, each children has 10 pesos. We can add 6 groups of 10. Let's add 6 10 pesos. 10 pesos plus 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 10 pesos equals Kids, do you know what is the answer? Correct! The answer is 60 pesos. You can also skip counting by 10 to get the answer. We can also multiply. 10 pesos times 6 equals 60 pesos. We can also multiply in vertical forms. 10 pesos times 6 equals, let's multiply 6 to 10 pesos. 0 times 6 equals 0. 0 times 6 equals 0. 0 times 6 equals 0. And then, 1 times 6 equals 6. 10 pesos times 6 equals 60 pesos. Let's read again the problem solving. Mother gave each of her children 10 pesos. The question is, if she had 30 pesos left, how much money did mother have at first? First, we're going to add 60 pesos. This is the total price of money that she gave to her children. Then, let's add 60 pesos to 30 pesos. This is her money left. 60 pesos plus 30 pesos equals 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 6 plus 3 equals 9. Then put a decimal point after two digits from right to left. So the answer is 90 pesos. Therefore, mother have 90 pesos at first. Now kids, it's your turn. Solve the following word problems in your notebook. Label your answer. Problem solving number 1. I bought 6 notebooks at 9 pesos each and 4 ball pens at 4.50 each. 
How much did I pay in all? Kids, you can pause this video. Problem solving number 2. Nilo bought 4 bags of charcoal at 8 pesos each. How much change did he get from a 40 peso bill? Problem solving number 3. Anthony bought 8 boxes of marbles at 7 pesos each. The cashier gave him a change of 4 pesos. How much did Anthony give the cashier? Problem solving number 4. A jeepney can load 10 passengers. If the jeepney is full, how much will the driver get if each passenger pays 8 pesos? Remember, multiplication is a short way for repeated addition. Factors are the numbers we multiply. Product is the answer in multiplication. Multiplying any number by 1 will give the same number. This is identity property of multiplication. Multiplying any number by 0 is equal to 0. This is zero property of multiplication. Changing the order of the factors does not change the product. This is commutative property of multiplication. So again kids, what was our topic today? Very good! It's about solving word problems involving multiplication. Kids, I hope you've enjoyed our lessons today. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!